Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, this video is a little bit different from my other ones. I'm not going to save another vehicle from the junkyard or being abandoned or anything. Uh, right now I'm cruising in the little 2000 S10 five speed or just little beater shop truck. And uh, I recently saw on Facebook Marketplace because I'm addicted like you all are, I'm sure. And uh, I found a set of billet wheels, specifically intro billet wheels for just stupid cheap. And um, there was a full set of them on Nitto tires. One of them needed a little bit of work, so I'm actually heading to go pick that one up now and get it mounted again on the tire. But uh, yeah, then we'll see how they fit on my white 96 extended cab and swap some wheels and let's go. All right. Package secured. I got that last wheel mounted and balanced and now it holds air perfectly fine uh, So yeah, now we're gonna drive back to the shop. I need to clean this wheel up and Probably throw a quick hand polish on it before I throw it on the truck just to see how it fits But uh, yeah, I'm very pleased so far. Let's go. introduced this truck properly on this channel but this is my white 96 extended cab Silverado two-wheel drive this was actually my first truck I got it 12 years ago almost to the day and uh, yeah I got this thing bone stock from the original owner and as you can tell I've ruined it I love this truck so yeah this truck uh, I got a completely stock it had you know the moldings all the way down and took those off and ended up having to get the bottom half just repainted right there because those molding strips took the paint with it whenever i did it i have the smoothie front bumper and then i have just a chevy grill with billet inserts and an old heartbeat billet bow tie i've got apc clear corners in the front Right now on it, I have some 20 by eight all the way around um, centerline Archer 2s. Fronts are on some 245 4020s. The rear is 275 4020. Interior on this thing is pretty much bone stock. It has an electrochromatic um, gauge cluster cover. I like that. Uh, it also has an old billet, uh, you know, your selector other than that it needs some more billet interior parts and eventually i need to get the interior redone it's starting to show some age i mean this truck does have 255,000 miles on it so it's to be expected to show some age uh, i have some paint matched street scene cow view mirrors on it as well as some color matched door handles this one is broken still need to replace that one and get it painted for right now it still has a third brake light on it but i will be shaving it whenever this truck gets repainted because like all 90s gms the paint has failed tremendously and it's showing its age on the roof it's about the worst part about this truck also it has some little spots under the back window that need to get taken care of just from a bad window seal at some point i have original 90s apc clear tail lights. These are original 90s ones. This isn't, you know, the repopulated, um, repopped clears or anything like that. These are original APCs. My back bumper step is also paint matched and I also have a shaved tailgate. It's got some dinks, uh, dings, dents, you know, it's an old truck. Uh, exhaust wise, I just have two Flowmaster 40s, and then I have them coming out like the old stock tips with the uh, dual exit right there. I think it looks pretty good. Suspension wise, this is a 5.7 static Bell Tech kit with McGaughy's spindles in the front. Helps suck in the front wheel just a hair. I think eventually I might do reacts or, you know, 
it would be super cool to do coilovers on this truck at some point but you know for right now things just a cruiser so uh yeah i absolutely love these centerline wheels but we will see i might just have to throw these intros on we'll see how they fit we'll see if they clear see how they look i know i need to polish them still but yep let's do it all right, I went ahead and gave these intros a quick little hand polish. Nothing, uh, I mean, it was like five, five, ten minute polish at the most. Uh, just to clean them up. Because, I mean, you know, I'm just trying to test fit them, see what they look like. They're not perfect. But I just want to see what they'll look like. And I guess now it's time to get the Chevy jacked up and swap these wheels over, see what they look like, see if they fit. All right, I've got this intro mounted up in the front. We'll uh, see, it's gonna be close. We'll see if it'll clear the fender. Time will tell. Let's move on to the back. All right, I just threw one of the rears on. Um, whoo wee, that's gonna be close. I do not know if that's gonna clear the fender, but uh, let's go ahead and set the camera down and then I'll go ahead and try and lower the truck down, see what it does on its own weight. I think that is gonna rub like hell. We'll see though. Coming down. Hold up. It actually tucks like perfectly. Wow. Man, that is that is an aggressive fitment, but I like it. It looks super good. I still think the fronts might be a little bit too wide, but uh, we'll go ahead and throw the other side on, see what happens. Alrighty, I've got them all four on. These are Intro Phantoms, 20 by eight and a half in the front, 20 by nine and a half in the rear. Uh, the front tires are Nitto NT555s, 255 35 R20. And I believe these are also NT triple fives and the rears are 255 45 R20. So it's definitely an aggressive fitment. I'm not sure what the uh, offset is on these wheels, but uh, the front is definitely going to be close whenever this thing hits bumps and settles a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and back this thing out, see what it looks like outside of the shop. Let's go.
All right, I hate to admit it, but they look sick. They look super, super sick. That rear fitment is really nice. They fit the truck very well. Man, it really gives it a sick stance. I really, really dig that stance. Uh, dang it, man. I really didn't want to like these. I really didn't want to like these, but I love them. Well, these were going to be to flip. I don't know if I can bring myself to do that anymore. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.